Hey guys. Ah, there we go. Hello, YouTube. Let's see, how's Facebook doing? Looks like we're live on Facebook too. Hello, Facebook. Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. I'll tell ya, I am ready for Friday. I'm just gonna find myself on a, another device over here. Say hello when you find me. Let me know, I'm starting to see some eyes on. Awesome, we've got a brand new sketch today. Hey, Christina, Gian, hi. Oh, good, Facebook's, looks like it's broadcasting. Let's see if I can find some comments there. How is everybody today? Are you guys as ready for the weekend as I am? I'm completely ready for the weekend. Oh, there we go. Hello, Facebook. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Tony. <laughs> Tony says, yeah, found you. Hello and shared. Thank you for sharing. It makes a huge difference. I'm looking forward to meeting your friends. Hey, Kathy. Kathy says, hi, everyone. Happy Friday to all. I love that. Hey, Nancy. Hi, Jan. Are you guys together, Nancy, Jan? Hi, Patricia. Patricia says, on Facebook and seeing you. Awesome, awesome. Happy Friday, Jessica. Ann says, hello, love this sketch series. Awesome, I hope you're collecting them all. This is Shortcut Card Sketch number 11. Introducing Shortcut Card Sketch number 11. <laughs> Gian says, hello, Stampin' Friends. <laughs> Hi, Gian, there you are. Hey, Sonia. Gina, happy Friday. All right, look at that. We're having oh, no technical difficulties so far. That makes me very happy. I love a smooth start. Hopefully we have a smooth finish too. We are in um, video number two of three in our new shortcut card sketch series. If you missed last Friday, we introduced shortcut card sketch number 10. If um, you would like to join us next Friday, I'll be introducing shortcut card sketch number 12. Yes, there are 12 shortcut card sketches. You can get these sketches at kitchentablestamper.com. And they are PDFs that are free to download. You can um, just go right over there. Look at that. Da -da. Um, and search for the shortcut card sketches. The best way to find them is to use your um, sh your search feature or your sort features in the right hand menu right now. Um, if you roll down on the right hand menu, you can either use the search bar or select a category and we have our shortcut card sketches there. You know what? Let's use let's use this beast. I can share my screen so that's what we're gonna do. And I'm going to show you. So if you're looking for the shortcut card sketches, we'll buzz over to kitchentablestamper.com. This is our little corner of the internet. This is shortcut card sketch number 10. We introduced it last week. It's the top post on the blog. Later this afternoon, introducing shortcut card sketch number 11 will be our top post on the blog. But if you just roll down and then on the right hand side here, there's these categories and you can use the drop down menu and that's where you'll find all the cool stuff. There's our wonder recipes, six by six wonder recipes, but we're looking for shortcut card sketches. And you can see right here in this menu, shortcut card sketch one through 10 and it'll sort all the ideas for you right there. And that's the best way to find them right now. Eventually I'll do a project where you can drop them down right from the top menu, but that's IT stuff, and I've been too busy stamping. All right, so that's where you're gonna find these. They're PDFs, so when you um, sort, say for shortcut card sketch number 10, you'll just click on any one of the ideas. This is a JPEG where you can just take a look at it, but you can also go right below the embedded video, click on the button, and it will open up the PDF for you to either save to your device or you can um, print them out like I did. You can add them into a binder, laminate them, or put them in a page protector. Gina, um, or Sonia shared, thank you so much. <laughs> Jan and Nancy are together, awesome, I love that. All right, so let me switch back over to, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. Oh wait, hold on. 
I'm sure my desktop. Oh, <laughs> one day I'll get good at this and you guys won't get to get the view of my desktop. All right, so that's where you can find the shortcut card sketches. Number 11 will be there later today in the blog post with our card. So this is our sweet little card. You can see it really is a simple sketch and a great way to use scraps. Do you guys need ideas on how to use scraps? Because if you do, I got you covered. Anybody else suffer with never ending scraps? I got a really cute way here for you guys to, to use up some scraps with shortcut card sketch number 11. All right. Tony says, shared and liked on Facebook and on YouTube. Thank you. You're doing double duty today. Hi, Rebecca. And Rebecca says, and cool people get card sketches. Yes, indeed. Speaking of, next month's card sketch. I'm gonna give you just a little sneak peek. Are you ready? Okay, here it is. It's gonna go fast. So the card club for cool people is our monthly subscription. And we have a new card club coming. You can subscribe up until February 5th to get this one. And here is card sketch number two for cool people. <laughs> and that is our card with the card sketch. There'll be, um, I think seven cards this time. And that is your sneak peek. Now, if you are a cool, a card club for cool people member and you got your class packet, you already got a sneak peek. Did you guys see the flyer I sent with the sneak peek on it? Um, look out for an email. Um, if you're already a subscriber with some more um, sneak peeks and the opportunity to add your stamp set and tools, all right? So there is an email coming for those of you who are already subscribed. If you're not subscribed, let's do this because you guys can tell I need, the, I need the practice. If you're not already subscribed to the Card Club for Cool People, then you can just buzz over again to kitchentablestamper.com. Let me show you my screen. I'm gonna try not to show you my desktop this time, okay? <laughs> Let's see what I could do. And you can go to the Kitchen Table Stamper store and then just select a category over here and you're going to go to Card Club. And the Card Club for Cool People subscription is called just Card Club for Cool People. And in a day or two, you'll see this change to our February sneak peek. It starts at $22.95. That's the one you wanna click on, starting at $22.95. To subscribe, you're going to choose your option. We have concierge, which includes your laminated sketch and your card kits. We have to go, which includes just your card kit, and we have online only, which includes the PDF and videos. So you can subscribe at any one of those levels. Let's say we want concierge, and you click subscribe now, and then you can just set up your subscription right from the cart there, okay? So that's how you get to be a member of Card Club for Cool People. One thing about our Card Club for Cool People is it does act like a, um, host club too. So if you stay with us for six consecutive months, then you get a swag bag, uh, $25 worth of product. So it does work kind of like a um, host code or a host, host club. All right, so keep that in mind. All right, let's see if I can stop sharing without showing you guys my desktop again. <laughs> there we go, I think I'm back. All right, let's check out some comments and then we'll get started. It's such a simple um, card today, it's gonna go very quickly. <laughs> Kay says, beautiful card. Thank you, Kay. I hope you like this sketch and you'll give it a try. Hey, Leah, yes, but I always go to your card sketches to find a way to use up designer series paper. Sometimes my mojo freezes up, so I use your ideas to jumpstart me. I am so glad because that is really my purpose. I'll tell you honestly, if, if I can get you stamping, whoever's hearing the sound of my voice, if I can get you stamping, that does my heart happy. <laughs> Nancy said today, oh wait, was it Nancy? Nancy said, uh, oh, Jackie said, today was so much harder to find than last week. Good to listen to you and watch you live. Did you get your on stage work done? I sure did, I sure did. I've got a couple of like supporting things that I wanna do and a couple more ideas, but yeah, I'm, I get my stuff done. Nancy says, um, hello, Jackie Anderson. Glad you're on Facebook today. I love that you guys go back and forth chatting. 
Um, I'm, uh, I'm actually also um, registered for On Stage finally. So if you are a kitchenette and you're hearing the sound of my voice, you have until the end of the month to register for On Stage. On Stage is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator only event with um, the release of the new catalog and some stamping and great socializing, a little bit of business training. It's a whole lot of fun. Um, usually a couple thousand demonstrators, great place to network and um, get to see all the new products released from the catalog in action. Lots of demonstrations from new catalog um, uh, suites and, and products. So it's a really amazing time for demonstrators only. So if uh, you're hearing my voice, you've got until the end of the month to register. I'm going, I finally got registered. <laughs> Diva said, I got my card club paper share yesterday. Double happy mail. Oh, enjoy every minute, Deepa. Cindy says, found you and shared. Thank you for sharing. If you are so inclined to share, if you know somebody who would enjoy this content, maybe you have friends that you stamp with, you're friends with them on Facebook, they struggle from a little bit of that stamper's block or need some mojo, these sketches will hook them up. So please share. Um, I would love to inspire your um, crafty friends to, I don't know, sit down and make a card a little bit more easy. Um, my card sketch actually says they're meant to be a help in your card making. I hope they give you the confidence to jump right in and craft. And that's what it's all about. I hope that I can give you the confidence to use up those scraps or cut up the paper. And if you can see the direction that you're going to go in, it really does ease up that, that freeze, that scrapper or stamper's brain freeze, you know? So share if you think that there's anybody on your social medias that would enjoy this content. And it, that tells both Facebook and YouTube that this is interesting and engaging content. And then YouTube will help me find people who could value this content. So we really do um, appreciate your help growing. Uh, Patty says, where does that hive come from? Uh, good question. And we're about to get into stamp in too. So let me show you that. This is the fluffiest friends bundle and it is from the fluffiest friends dies which is a really good wingman die set for the uh, be mine or be my valentine it's got this which is the hive and i'm going to show you how to make it even more hivey and then it's got some grass and leaves and branches and balloons the balloons are the perfect size for the little bee um little beehive so that's the that's the die set for the for the little honeybee home. What is the sky calls again? This is fluffiest friends dies, and this is an online exclusive. You can bundle it up with the fluffiest friends stamp set. If this floats your boat, and that's where my little hive came from. Great question. Uh, let's see. Cliffy says, I used to love doing the Stamp Up Demonstrator events. Right, they're just so much fun. It's a great place to meet new friends. Uh, Patricia says, I was not aware that you got card kits for the card club. I thought it was only tutorials. I'll have to check on this. It depends what level you sign up for. If you sign up for online only, there is no kit. If you sign up for to go, there is a kit, but there's no laminated sketch. If you sign up for concierge, you get the online content, the class kit to go, and the laminated sketch. So it totally depends on what level you're subscribed at, Patricia. Patricia. Um, the online content is $22.95. The online content plus the class kit, $42.95, I believe. And then the concierge with the laminated sketch, the kit, and the online content, $44.95, I believe. So there's three levels, and you can change levels at any time in your subscription, too. If you are to go or concierge for the whole for a six month period, then you get swag bag. All right, let's see here. I'm going to pop in just really quick on my YouTube before I pull out and get stamp in here because I got to check on the comments there too. Hey, Bonnie, good afternoon. Thank you for the thumbs up and the sharing. The thumbs up, those interactions really help. GM loves the sketches. I'm glad. Here's a brand new one. <laughs> Rebecca says, yes, saw the sneak peek included in the cat in the packet, right? Um, I've got something special going to all my Kitchenette team members that are also 
um, card club members too. So if you're both team, kitchen, your kitchenette and you're a member, um, a founding member of our card club, there's some happy mail coming to you guys, all right? So I, I found something really fun and couldn't resist. So if you are a founding member of the card club for cool people, which means you got January's kit and you're a kitchenette, um, I've got something fun going to, out in the mail to you soon. All right. Um, Teresa says, I love the card sketches, put mine together yesterday, went back, printed some of the project sheets, um, bind and laminate the sketch cards. I am so glad you're making yourself a whole sketchbook, inspiration book. Whenever you're feeling like you need a little, uh, a little push in the right direction, I'll be there for you in laminated form. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at our new card sketch here. This is what we're going to make. And I gotta switch views, there we go. Our details for this card, and we'll start with A, and I'll show you my pieces, and then we'll put it together. All right, so A is eight and a half by five and a half, scored a four and a quarter, and that's what I use for my card sketch bases, of course. Um, I say it about me, so you can say it about you too if you want to. I say crafty girls do what they want. So if you wanted to do a hot dog card, and you wanted to have a four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half, go for it. But I'm doing eight and a half by five and a quarter, five and a half scored at four and a quarter, pool party. And then B and C are our designer series paper pieces here, which are both one by five. And I am using some scraps from doing my card club. So that is, what is that one called? Be Mine Designer Series Paper? Yeah, Be Mine Designer Series Paper, one by five. D is any shape of your choice. I've got, for D, a couple of shapes that are gonna build a hive. So this is Daffodil Delight, and you guys saw that this is from my fluffiest friend's dies. I cut that one from Daffodil Delight, and it's this great big, it's like a hill, a doorway, a beehive. I like that it can be whatever you want it to be. And then ahead of time, I punched these two pieces. So this is the um, oval duo, I think it's called, punch. I've got the wiggly oval from basic white and the smooth oval from basic black. And that is my D layer. And then E is any shape of your choice. So I've got one half inch by like four and a quarter basic white. And that's for E, any shape of your choice. Sometimes I do things very literally and sometimes I really shake it up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to add some texture to make my beehive more realistic and since we've got such a little bit of designer series paper, I'm gonna break up the background a little bit with some embossing. So let's get a stamp and cut and emboss machine and let me show ya. Hey Kay, thank you for sharing. I'm glad you like the card. Stacey says, I got my package yesterday. Yay, did you see the sneak peek for next month? Is it, was it the, yeah, you did the card club for cool people, Stacey. Did you see the sneak peek? I just did another sneak peek of the sketch card for February's club. I just waved it by. So if you didn't see at the beginning, check that out because there is a sneak peek for card club for cool people February, at, close to the beginning of this video. All right, um, Patty says, oh, I said we, we have real hives. <laughs> Cinda says, we're going to in a minute. I'm gonna put my hive along the line, the Stampin' Up! logo line in the twisted rope embossing folder. Now we're about to really get hivey. <laughs> Let me just get this nice and level. I don't want my ropes to run uphill or downhill, but I gotta do it with a camera and a microphone tied to me and everything else. Sometimes I wonder how I do this. <laughs> Let's give that a crank. Sandy said, received my box today. Yay! Oh, Stacy, there's a little flyer inside. Um, the packet for January with a sneak peek for February card club for cool people. And uh, check out the earlier in the video. Maybe I'll bring it back in again at the uh, end of this video and do a quick a quick flash. We were just talking about earlier how Card Club for Cool People each month is based on an exclusive sketch. So there's 11 on the blog right now that are public. Anybody can 
grab those and, and download them. But our card club also gets another um, sketch every single month that I don't share anywhere else. So that's kind of how we got on the, on the subject. And the card that I flashed a little bit earlier today, that is our new sketch for next month, for February. And you have till February 5th to sign up. All right, I'm going to do the new softly sophisticated embossing folder on the card front. My, I'm going to do the whole card front, which means I'm gonna be super careful and responsible not to grate the folder on the side of the machine. If you're uncomfortable doing that, grab a four by five and a quarter um, pool party paper, emboss that, and then glue it to the front. Um, I say that, I say that use much caution because this softly sophisticated embossing folder is a celebration item, but it's a $100 celebration item. It comes with a cute floral stamp set, but if you grate the top off of your folder and it's useless, um, you don't want to do that because it was it was kind of a special one to earn. So just be careful, and if you're not comfortable doing it, do a card front and then glue it to your card. Okay, everybody, everybody clear on that? I love the whole um, entire card front embossed look. I do it all the time. I do it with great caution, and I suggest if you try it, you use great caution too. All right, we're going to ink both of our embossed layers so that we can. Um, really highlight these textures. I've got Whisper White and we're going to do a direct to paper inking technique on the card and we're just going to highlight that texture and you can add more ink. You can't take it off so just go over lightly and then if you want to go back over again. Go back over a third time but if you press too hard or if you rush you get streaks, you're not going to be able to get them off. Or if you rush too much and you get um, uneven inking, you're not going to be able to get the ink off. So just take your time with this direct to paper technique and let your um, ink pad just gently deposit the contents onto. And you see that we're starting to get it. And I'll go over it a couple times. The other thing that I'll tell you about my um, craft ink pad, I when I re-ink it, I barely add a touch of ink to it because I want it to be a little bit more dry for this technique. I rarely use it to stamp. I, I like the white for this best. So I keep it relatively dry just so that it's easier for me to get the white without getting streaks. So he says, I have the girls coming over to stamp tomorrow. I can't wait to put mine together. Oh, that sounds like a good Saturday, my friend. I love it. All right, let's see. How are we doing on YouTube over here? I got to figure out why I got the comments slow. There we go. <laughs> Hi, Karen. <laughs> Karen says, GN, thanks for sharing the link. Karen, I'm glad you found us. And GN, thanks for sharing. All right, we're going to now add some texture to this piece, or we've got texture on this piece. We're going to add some ink to highlight the texture. So this one, instead of doing direct to paper, we're going to use a blending brush and we're going to add Daffodil Delight ink to really show off that twisted rope texture. So you'll need a Daffodil Delight and you will need a scratch paper because you're going to tap this to pick up the ink and then you're going to tap it here because you want that big blob of heavy ink coverage on your scratch paper. You don't want that on your project. And then you're going to use horizontal, horizontal, so your paper's flat on the, on the surface and your brush is flat and you're going to bring that ink out from the edge into about maybe an inch and let the high spots of this um, embossed design pick up the ink. And again, this one's gonna go on just a little bit more intense because of the ink pad here, but you still want to layer up and add more because you can't get it off. Once it's on there, it's on there. And if you want to, you can do vertical. And so if you bring the brush, paper's horizontal, brush is vertical, then that gives you an inked edge. So then you've got a nice distinct um, edge around your cardstock item. So that's gonna make it kind of pop off the page a little bit. 
and really add kind of an intense uh, daffodil delight edge around your piece. So now it's got some extra life. All right, let's move these guys. Ah, actually, I'm going to leave that one because we're going to stamp. Let's get rid of the brush, set these guys aside to dry. And we did the inking first strategically because that can dry now. And anything we glue to it is going to stick better if those ink, the inking that we just did is dry. All right, so now we're going to stamp all of our elements and let those have a rest over there for a minute. Got Daffodil Delight still and now Pool Party. Martha says, very cute card, thank you. Hey, Melanie, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for liking and sharing. You guys seriously make all the difference in the whole wide world. I um, would be talking to myself uh, and just talking to you guys forever and ever if you didn't interact and share. When you interact and you share, you do the thumbs up and you um, post this video or you tag friends, you're telling Facebook and YouTube that this is interesting content. And then Facebook and YouTube are more willing to um, direct people to these lives or to my channel to check out the other videos. So thank you guys so much for doing that. All right, I've got Memento Tuxedo Black, Sweet Sorbet, Pool Party, Daffodil Delight, and then this is about half inch by four and a quarter. That's gonna be our sentiment strip. And you're as sweet as honey. All of my stamps for this one come from Be My Valentine. I just love this bundle. I think this is my last project with it. I've got so, you guys, I love the spring catalog. I bought so much stuff. I'm going to be moving on from the bees here. I think this is my last one. All right, right of center, Memento Tuxedo Black. And now we're going to get a scrap of basic white. I like to use a strip because the Be My Valentine has a builder punch and so the strips make it easy to get your images cut out without wasting a lot of cardstock. All right, let's flip that one like this one. And Marga says, OMG, I didn't need the bees, but such cute cards, I love it. Oh, I'm glad you love it. We're just, um, have had a ton of fun with the bees at Kitchen Table Stamper. I could keep going forever. It just really is kind of, it's kind of my personality, these little bees. All right, we're gonna do the body of the bee, and then we're gonna add the stripes over top. Now the stripes, and Stinger are all in one stamp here. And as you can see, we've got the punch upside down here so we know which way to stamp things before we just plop them on the paper and then can't get it in the punch, right? So that's why when I'm using a punch bundle, I always put the punch upside down next to me. It saves a ton of what we call it kitchen table stamper. It saves a ton of the punch gymnastics. I'm sure you've done it where you have to flip it and turn it and stretch it and cut off the corner so that you can fit it in the punch because you didn't exactly pay attention before you stamped. So I like to just keep it right here next to me and I can see that my stinger needs to go on the right side side and once we've got that all lined up it's going to be really easy to get in there and punch that one we did a nice strip so that we're not gonna um, destroy a big wide scrap and it's easy to just line that guy up and punch now we've got this guy out of here and you say but wait a second our B wants to goes the other way well before you put his face on you just decide which way he's gonna go and then add his face and he'll be all right he can go either way or he can go you know wide open front ways too so it really is nice you can have two little bees talking to each other or I love when Stampin' Up! thinks about how to give us images that face each other it really helps for building scenes and stuff all right now back to this scrap we're gonna do our wings on here and our antennas and heart I've got my wing pieces gonna do the outline and pool party full strength and then i'm going to grab that scratch paper again but we're gonna fold it up so we don't get any yellow ink mixed into our pool party I'm gonna stamp off the heart and then fill in the wings so now we've got little two-tone wings i'm gonna grab my little heart 
and we want to stamp this one upside down in the corner and then we can stamp it in the corner and then we're going to take the antennas and we can stamp them right in between kind of along this edge that'll be easy to punch out with the punch I think I've been doing this with this punch for a little bit now I think we can get those all out without um, I always say the builder punches sometimes you try to punch something but the other guys the other parts bite your other images so a little bit of thinking before you start punching a little bit of thinking before you start stamping can really make all the difference all right so we're gonna get both of these hearts first and then it leaves us the little antennas and we can get those right in had we done the antennas first though we would have cut right through that heart see so it's like a game do you guys play the punch game or is it just me I'm always trying to I was trying to figure out how to get them all without <laughs> injuring the next guy <laughs> and without ruining a bunch of cardstock. It's always a party with a builder punch. Look at that. All right. I got a yellow finger now. <laughs> I think we've done all of our stamping, right? Let's take our sample in here. We've got our B and the wings. We've got our sentiment. We put a face on our B. I think we're good. I'm going to get rid of these ink pads and look at some comments. Hey, Peggy. Peggy uh, and Ramona says, beautiful card. Hey, thank you, Ramona. Isn't it a cutie? All right. Let me flip to Facebook. Make sure everybody's doing good over there. Is everybody doing okay? I see some hearts and, and, and thumbs up. Thank you. Keep them coming. If you like this new sketch, um, I want to see what you do with it. Maybe you're stamping a little bit this weekend. If you would like to make a card with our new shortcut card sketch, number 11, we're debuting today and share with us. You are more than welcome to. We're gonna put this on the craft social later today. All right, you will see this um, image and an invitation to share your cards made with shortcut card sketch number 11. So inspire your fellow stampers with your creations. We love to see what you're up to, what you're making. Come and share on the craft social. We have just a few rules in the craft social. Please don't um, promote yourself, any other demonstrator, any other craft company. Please don't link away from the craft social. It's our place to stay and play. Um, no in search of buy, sell, trade posts. Um, we also uh, ask that you use primarily Stampin' Up! supplies. It is our place to inspire creativity with Stampin' Up! products. So if you don't mind following just those couple of rules, we have an amazing community already uh, built and growing and we would love for you to be a part of it. Come share your cards made with Shortcut Card Sketch number 11. Um, we're going to also Let's see, I don't know if this glue is gonna work. So while I'm talking to you, I'm gonna get a pen. Um, we also have shortcut card sketch number 10 posted there too. It's right on the top of the group in the featured uh, column or in the featured section. We do a challenge every uh, other week at the Craft Social, usually on Thursdays. <laughs> I got busy, I had a hard deadline yesterday. Um, something that I had to turn in and got busy and completely forgot to post it but I did post this morning so if you missed it go check out our card making taboo in the craft social it's it's a not a card making taboo this time I'm asking to see your gift bags so if um, you're you're looking for some some crafty inspiration maybe for some weekends stamping check out the kitchen table stamper craft social the link is in the description it's our Facebook group and we would love to have you. All right, so I'm gonna build my little hive first. So let me slide everybody else to the side. I've got my three pieces, and we're gonna put these together. <laughs> Jackie says, finally got back to scrapbooking. My desk has a uh, two by 24. <laughs> my, deck, my desk has a two by 24 inch space. Uh, sounds like a long, narrow, skinny, skinny strip. I, are you saying that every, every inch practically is is covered are you making a mess Jackie 
I'm gluing together my two ovals to make the door, and then I'll glue it on the hive. Oh, my ovals are crooked. I can't, I can't abide by crooked ovals. That's why I like the liquid glue. I've got a little bit of time to shift. My eyes are on crooked, but there we go, better. <laughs> Jan's, Jan's testifying for the community. The com this community is wonderful and inspiring, right? The best people hang out in the craft social. And so if you'd like to come and join us, we would love to see what you're crafting. Come leave some comments and some love for the other amazing ideas that everybody shares. We really have a good group, don't we? Oh, 12 by 24, not two. Two would be ridiculous. It would be hard to work in two by 24. <laughs> 12 by 24 is perfect for scrapbooking, but I wouldn't be able to maintain it. When I'm working on stuff, it goes like this. I start out with a big table, probably a six foot table. Behind me, there's two four foot tables usually. So I got all this space. And by the time I'm done, the tables behind me, I can barely get to the die cut machine and this, um, the Simply Score tool because that's what's usually behind me on the longer tables. And in front of me, I've built up all the things, the scraps, every pair of scissors, every bottle of glue, every sheet of dimensionals, every stamp on a block, ink pads, sometimes they're open. And I have this much room right in front of me that I keep kind of defending like this. <laughs> Anybody else work like that? I mean, I do not clean as I go. I just don't. <laughs> oh my goodness, I hate it, but it's just the way it is. I get on a roll and I like, can't, I can't be bothered to wipe off that stamp. I can't be bothered to close that ink pad. I just push it. And then the next thing I know, it's like piled up all around me. Oh goodness. All right, so we use the backside to cut off the rest of the little doorway and get a nice smooth cut. There's our hive. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I'm going to flip back over this way. <laughs> it says me, me. See, I figured I wasn't alone. <laughs> uh, Christina says, you make simplicity so pretty. Hey, thank you. I really appreciate that. I sometimes do think that um, I make simplicity very complicated. So that's a very good compliment. Thank you, Christina. Uh, Bonnie says such a cute card just makes me smile right and you're sweet as honey is the greeting so that's a good one to just send just because too it makes everybody you can't you can't look at that bee and feel angsty right I <laughs> so we got we've got chickens and we got our chickens and I don't know they're almost two years old now and um when I got them, I was just really having trouble with struggling kids. You know, they were in and out of school and the pandemic that just wouldn't end. And, you know, they were falling behind in their academics and socially they're struggling and everybody was struggling. Right. But we had thought, you know, we're going to we're going to get chickens one day. We're going to get chickens. Well, one day came because I decided that my kids just really needed something. I was like, really great science project, good learning for them, but you can't hold a chick and be angsty. You can't. You cannot hold a tiny little peeping ch chick in your hand and feel angsty. So we got our chickens and that's how I kind of feel about this bee. Like you can't just, you can't look at this bee and feel angsty. <laughs> it's just too, too cute. It's just too happy. Uh, so we got our little strips we've got our B we're just building our card right according to the sketch let's put that there for a minute um, I hope that you're seeing the possibilities in this sketch we have a scallop circle and this we're using a beehive so um, the the sketches are to uh, kick off crafting get you to cut the paper help you to ink the stamp and and make an impression but they're not rigid I want you to um, be your creative crafty self and I can't wait to see that as you guys share your shortcut card sketch number 11. I'm going to post that in the craft social pretty quickly after we're done here and then we'll have a clean video and a blog post uh, at kitchentablestamper.com a little bit later today. Um, you'll be able to see the sketch in the um, JPEG form right away 
after we're done here in the Facebook group, you'll be able to download the sketch a little bit later today from both the Facebook group and from the blog, okay? So these, these resources, these sketches are absolutely free. They're there for you to, to download and to enjoy. If you do our paper samplers, we offer the sketches laminated and delivered with the paper samplers. So that's where this, this series kind of originated from. So the, that is the one opportunity to get them laminated from us. But you can laminate them, you can use page protectors. I'll show my binder in before we end today. B's got dimensionals, we're gonna pop that right on. Um, I like to put my laminated sketches in a binder and then in between the laminated sketches, I use page protectors and add the project sheets for the sketches that are shared on the blog. So builds a little idea book um, right there. And we will keep on using these sketches and keep on offering new ideas with new products um, to use these sketches. And then you can just print off the free printable project sheets and you can add it to your book. All right, so this is my binder. Let me just show you what I just talked about. And it's got the sketches inside. And then in between the sketches, I've taken the printable project sheet. So if you're not familiar, kitchentablestamper.com. For every um, project that we do, we offer a free printable project sheet. It's an amazing resource. I couldn't offer it without Jackie Anderson's help, you guys. Every project, measurements, step-by-step -step instructions, full color photos. And so you can say, okay, let me see shortcut card sketch number one, and then all the different cards that are there, and then a printable project sheet for each one. And then the number two, same thing. That's what our um, project sheets look like. So we do offer, and there will be a project sheet and a printable sketch for this one later today. And I just keep them in my binder like that and build myself an idea book. And when I'm feeling like I'm not exactly sure, I can jump right in and um, with a card sketch, and it really does help. The other thing that um, we are doing is we're doing exclusive sketches every month for our card club members. So check out our card club and get another exclusive sketch every month, as long as you're a member. And that's a lot of fun. Our um, embellishments here are Baker's Twine 3 Color. I'm grabbing the balmy blue one. I think that once you cut it away from the spool, it looks pretty good even with the pool party background. You could switch out pool party cardstock and ink for balmy blue, or you could switch out um, lemon lolly and make your bow yellow instead. So if you're um, kind of purist, I, I didn't mind the way that this one came together, so I just went with it. I'm going to do a double bow. You got the three color uh, Baker's Twine full pack in your paper sampler. So we're going to tie up a double bow here. I always use a little too much twine when I do double bows. I don't know. I'm not as good at double as I am single, but I'm going to tie it double and then cut it off from the spool here. And then I need my take your pick tool and some glue dots because when I've got twine bows, I like to use my glue dots, but they're kind of big for a twine bow. So I'll do a take your pick tool, the pointy side, and then you kind of scrunch up the, oh, 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 oh. did you see what I did to myself? Punked myself. Kind of scrunch up the glue dot on the tip of the take your pick tool. Then I can put the knot on the glue dot and then place perfectly where I want it, even though it's floppy and skinny, just hold the knot, pull the tool out, and then flip, and we're gonna grab some of these iridescent foil gems. These are so cool, they're clear, they look like um, drops of water, but they have iridescent glitter and gold foil inside. I just think they're pretty awesome, and they'll go with anything. You've got a full pack of those in your sampler too. I'm just gonna use two. You could sprinkle them all over the card because you've got a whole pack. But um, I'm dingle challenged, you guys. Like we talk about it a lot. If you if you watch, if you hang out with me, you know that I'm completely dingle challenged. I never know where to put them. And if you're like Jackie, you know that, oh see, look at me doing it. I pick them off and I move them. I don't know. But what I find as a simple no-brainer, it usually looks pretty 
um, cohesive. It usually looks nice. I I'm looking for triangles. So either triangles of the dingles, but sometimes it just doesn't look right. Like you put a third one and it looks like it's floating. So instead of using three dingles in a triangle, I'll do three with an image or three with a, another embellishment. And so that's where I put mine this time. I thought, you know, if you knew the method to the madness, you'd know what I did. Of course you could put on, you know, six or eight if you want to, you've got the whole pack. But that's our, our card for today. If you want to put some Wink Estella on the wings, that'd be a good good touch too. But that's our that's our card. That's shortcut card sketch number 11. And I would really love it if you'd make shortcut card sketch and share with us in the craft social. And you know, if you've got any questions about anything that we've talked about today, you can email Marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Let's see, I have this, is that it? Nope, that's not it. This is it, there we go can email me if they've got any questions about anything. Marcus says, love your sketches. Oh, I'm so glad. There's a new one for you today. You can download it later on today. Um, Karen says, I've just put all my project sheets in a binder like this. I love being organized, right? It makes it so much easier to be creative. I agree with you. All right, so thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for being a part of our paper sampler. All of you who have gotten the the sampler and you're making shortcut card sketch number 11 with your new papers and embellishments please share them on the on the facebook page <laughs> such a cute card thank you all right you guys i am going to go um, wrap up some stuff for this blog post and see how much i can get done for our card club for cool people we're working on our um, february samples right now we're wrapping those up and getting some photographs and stuff so look out for um, some more sneak peeks of that get get joined up i think you're gonna love next month's beautiful card club and if there's anything i can do to help you stay crafty email me marissa at kitchen table stamper.com if you want to shop today or this weekend marissa alvarez stampin up net let's see i think i have one of those too look at that Ta-da. Oh, it's got an old host code in it, though. Man. <laughs> One of these days, I'll get good at technology. Right now, I'm just okay at stamping. I'm <laughs> good at technology. <laughs> Patricia says, got to go look at your card club. Check it out. <laughs> and Kathy says, thank you. Have a great weekend. You too. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Jackie says, I always want to shop. Me too. I hear you. It is a um, way too tempting right now, the mini catalog is amazing and celebration was really good too uh tony says thank you happy stampin everyone and gn says thank you marissa hope you get my card this weekend oh did you send me a card i can't wait i'll keep an eye peeled <laughs> margaret says need help stamping the hot air balloon oh no are you having trouble lining it up margaret i did a couple of videos with it i don't know if that would help i'll um when I wrap up here, I'm gonna respond with, um, I, think I, have, I think I have a treat and a card, both with the hot air balloon, and I'll just link those for you. And if you've got specific questions, just shoot me an email, all right? <laughs> Hello from Las Vegas, I'm late. <laughs> We're just wrapping it up. I'll get out of here so that you can catch the replay. There will be a clean video this afternoon maybe evening and the printable project sheet and the new sketch will be available at kitchentablestamper.com for you to download this evening also. All right, you guys have a great afternoon and I'll see you next week.